Okay, so let's do this. Uh, seven to one. This is the sheet Mr. A gave to you guys. So I'm gonna start here. Again, I want. I like to draw this line over here. This is my left side and my right side. I'm going to use the inverse operation. This is a subtraction, right? So remember, I want this to look like this. X equals a number. So I need to isolate my variable. Have my variable all by itself. So I'm going to do plus 15 over here. Plus 15. Minus 15 and plus 15 becomes 0. So that X comes down. And then 32 minus 15, if, if I do it over here, you can tell that my answer is going to be negative, right? Because there's more negatives. And 32 minus 15, borrow 12, 7 equals negative 17. So X equals negative 17. I'm going to do a check. It's negative 32 equals x minus 15. Negative 32 equals negative 17, right? The dx, we change it to this, minus 15. <clears throat> negative 32 equals negative 17. Minus plus negative 15, so they're both negative, right? So 17 plus 15 is going to be negative 32, and that equals negative 32 on that side. Okay. Next problem. Again, my line here in the middle. I'm going to do minus 11 and minus 11 over here. So my plus 11 minus 11, so it cancel it, goes becomes zero, right? So negative five plus negative five minus negative 11. It's negative five plus negative 11. They're both negative, so it's negative 16, right? So let's do the check. Negative 5 equals m plus 11. Negative 5 equals negative 16 plus 11. Negative 5 and negative 16 plus 11, there's more negatives, right? So the negative is going to be, and how many more negatives? That's 5, so I know my answer is correct. This ones are pretty simple, right? So again, here's my line in the middle. I'm going to do plus 15 here, plus 15 here. These two become 0. A comes down. 22 plus 15 is 37. So my A is 37. Let's make sure that's okay. So A minus 15 equals 22. 37 minus 15 equals 22. And 37 minus 15 is 22, right? Which equals 22 on that side check. First I see which operation is being used, so you can write operation is here. Uh, then I find the, uh, then I find the, uh, let's see, the inverse operation, the inverse operation of what? So the inverse operation, this was subtraction, the inverse operation of subtraction. The inverse operation of subtraction, the contrario de resta, subtraction, is addition. Right? So I did plus plus, so I did addition. So after I isolate it by after I isolate variable by adding, right? Somando 15 to both sides. Lastly, I check my answer to see if my equation is true. So that's what I would write over there. <clears throat> I'm not going to do all of these. I'm going to do just this page, and you guys can only do this page, too. <laughs> so it's minus 18, so do plus 18. Plus 18 on this side. This becomes 0, so t equals 6, 106. So that's a t. Check, 98 equals t minus 18. 98 equals 106 minus 18. 98 equals and 106 minus 18, 106 minus 18, borrow, 10, 9, 16 minus 8 is 8, 9 minus 1 is 8, uh, 10, wait a second, what did I do wrong, I don't know, this should be 116, okay, so t equals 116, that's where I made a mistake, and there is a good reason to do your check, so, should be 116 minus 18 and 116 minus 18 
borrow, 0, that's 11, that's a 10, that's a 0 by the way, 16, that becomes 16 minus 8 is 8, 10 minus 1 is 98, and I know that 98 equals 98. <coughs> P minus 11 equals negative 5, so again, here's my line. I do plus 11 here, plus 11 here. Uh, minus 11 plus 11 is 0, so P comes down, so right that P comes down. Negative 5 plus 11 is negative 5 plus 11. Quien ganas? Who wins? The 11, there's more. So how many more? There's 6 more. 6 positive. So the answer is 6. <clears throat> so if I write this, P minus 11 equals negative 5. That becomes 6 minus 11 equals negative 5. And if you want to change this, you can write 6 plus negative 11 equals negative 5. And there's more negatives, right? So it's going to be negative, and how many more negatives are there? 11 minus 6 is 5, so that gives us the right answer. Same thing here, it's just decimals, so it's no different. It's minus 1.6 and minus 1.6. These two cross out, I bring the x down. 0 0.8 minus 1.6 is the same thing as 0 0.8 plus negative 1.6. Who wins? The negatives wins, right? So how many more negatives I have? I have more negatives, so let's subtract these two. Borrow. 16 minus 8 is just 8, or 0 0.8. Negative. So x is 0 0.8. Check. x plus 1.6 equals 0 0.8. Ah, sorry, this is negative, okay. So we change this to negative 0 0.8 plus 1.6. Um, it's negative 0 0.8 plus 1.6. So if you subtract, it's going to be positive, right? So you subtract these two. Borrow 16. 16 minus 8 is 8. And you get that 0 0.8 is the same as the other side. So that's one of the sheets. I'm not going to do the other page. And if you watch the video, you don't have to do the other ones. <clears throat> this one, the second part, is what you did today. So this is a multiplication. So 7 times x equals 63. So we're going to use the opposite, or the inverse of multiplication to find our answer. So if it's 7 times, we're going to divide and divide. Divide by 7, divide by 7. 7 divided by 7 is 1 and 1, right? And 1 over 1 is just 1. So I get x. And 63 divided by 7 is 9. 7 times x equals 63. I'm going to substitute 7 times 9 equals 63. 7 times 9 is 63, which equals 63 on that side. So check. x, this is a division. So x divided by 25 equals 5. So if it's division, I have to use multiplication, right? So I'm going to multiply this side by something and this side by something. So I multiply by 25. Multiply this by 25. 25 and 25, they become 1 and 1, right? So if I simplify, that just becomes x. 5 times 25 is 125. So let's see if that's true. x over 25 equals 5. Let's substitute. We're going to change the x. So replace it with 125. 125 divided by 25 equals 5. 125 divided by 5 is 5, and that gives us 5 on the other side. So let's check. Again, first I see which operation I'm going to write right here, which operation is being done. Then I find the risk, the inverse operation of, and this is a multiplication, right? The inverse operation of multiplication. Multiplication. The inverse of multiplication. 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 Is division. Right, so we're going to use division to find our value here. So, again, here's my line in the middle. That says 2 times t equals 20. So divide and divide. I'm going to use division. And I'm going to divide by 2 and divide by 2. 2 divided by 2 is just 1, so this becomes all 1 or just t. And 20 divided by 2 is 10. Substitute. 2 times, and this becomes a 10. 
equals 20. Is 2 times 10 20 really? It is. And that gives it our answer. So the rest on the other page, I'll let you guys do it by yourself. Actually, I'll do one more because deal with negative. Let me do this one. So which first I see which operation is being used, right? What's this? This is a division, right? Then I find the inverse operation of division, of division. The inverse operation of division is multiplication. Multiplication. After I isolate the variable by, what am I going to do? I'm going to multiply negative 3 to both sides. So I'm going to multiply this side, and let me do my line in the middle. So I want you to write dot multiply, multiply, multiply by, remember, I want an A all by itself, and I want that A, so that's positive. Right now my A is negative. So how do I change that negative to become a positive? Well, if I multiply by another negative, isn't a negative times a negative a positive? So I'm going to multiply by a negative, and I'm going to multiply by 3. On this side, I'm going to multiply by negative 3. Whatever I do to one side, I do to the other one. Negative 3 and 3 becomes 1 and 1, right? Simplify. And negative times a negative is a positive, and 1 times a is just a. On the other side, negative 12 times negative 3 is a positive, and 12 times 3 is 36. So the value of my a is 36. Let's substitute. And then I get negative, right? That's already there. So 36 over 3 equals 12. Negative 36 divided by 3, oops, this is a negative, by the way, is negative 12, and that equals negative 12 on the other side. Check and check. Um, let me do this one. Line in the middle. So this is, first I'm going to see which operation is being done. And then I find the inverse operation of, and what are we talking about? This is a multiplication, right? Multiplication. So that says negative 2 times a number is 8. Inverse operation of multiplication. Multiplication. So the inverse operation, operation of multiplication, multiplication, is division right so I'm going to divide this by something and divide this by by something so I'm going to divide and again remember you want your X isolated and you want a positive X so here I'm going to divide by negative 2 and this side by negative 2 negative 2 divided by negative 2 is just 1 right or you get 1x and 8 divided by negative 2 is negative 4 let's do our check so it's negative 2x equals 8 negative 2 times negative 4 equals 8. Negative times a negative is a positive, and 2 times 4 is 8. So here's my check. All right, so I'm going to stop here because I don't want, and you guys can do the rest. I'm pretty sure you guys can do the rest. Okay. I'll do one more. So I'll do one more. Line in the middle. So this is a division. So the opposite of division is multiplication. So I'm going to times this by something and time this by something. So this, remember, I want this to look like this. That's negative right now. So how do I change it to positive? I'm going to multiply it by another negative. And I'm going to buy, multiply that by negative 8. And because I'm multiplying this by negative 8, I'm going to multiply this side by negative 8. Negative times a negative is a positive, positive w. And 8 divided by 8 is 1. 8 divided by 8 is 1, right? So I get W times 1, which is W. So that's what I want. On the other side, negative 8 times 7 is negative 56. Let's check. 7 equals negative W over 8. 7 equals negative. And I'm going to change colors here to show you that this is how your substitution should look. Right? You should have these two negative signs together. That one, though, this one was already there. And this negative 56 come from here. So 7 equals, and negative and a negative is a positive, and 58 divided by, 56 divided by 8 is 7. And you know that this is positive, and this is positive, they both check out. Okay, <clears throat> so that's that.